Okay, hi everyone. What we're doing today is going to be setting up a, an animation and exporting it into After Effects. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to be needing to do is just to go down in the corner here and click on to our settings and just make sure that they're going to be the same here as they are going to be in After Effects. All right, so, okay, so we need to go up to Settings. And again, okay, we're just going to be using uh, PAL, 25 frames per second. Uh, if you are working with video, if you're working in 30 frames per second, change it here, but just make sure that as long as they're, it's the same. That's the that's the important one here. All right, there we go. And I think our timeline should be all okay. Playback speed. Let's try it real time. Twenty five frames frames per second. All right. There we go. Okay. Also, that our start and finish are the same. Here it is, 40, uh, I've just made a very simple 48 frame animation. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go, now we've saved that. And there's our animation, Not very interesting. Okay, so, there it is. Rather important, no, not too important here, but again, I'm just working in uh, camera one. i to make, set that up when I go to uh, export this. Alright, so let's go up into my render settings button here. And I should have it here. Okay, um, let's just go down to choose one of these two here because we're doing multi frame. Alright, I'm just going to save it as a JPG. Uh, TIFFs or PFs, um, TIFFs might be better for, for different projects. All right, I've just given it a name. I'm calling it first start frame. Well, I didn't do all of these right. One end frame is 48 frame by frame. This one here, a lot of people forget. Let's go down to say camera. Uh, I don't want an alpha mask, just keep it as it is. Image size. Here it is, I'm doing a widescreen format, 1024 by 576. Pixel 72, pixels per inch. All right, pixel aspect ratio, keep that to be one. All right, that should be all right. Also just make sure that you know where you're saving it, all right. There we go, I'll close. Now I'll go up to here. Polygons, okay, just go down to rendering. Okay, our rendering options. Now we can just go up, render, and down to batch render. Alright, should be okay. And let's just hit batch render and close. Alright, should be able to see it uh, rendering just down here. We can actually close Maya if we like. But we'll just uh, wait and see how long that goes. Shouldn't take too long. All right, we can just, again, we can just watch it down here. Done 24, 25, 30 frames. All right, and we should be able to see them. If I go onto the desktop, uh, autumn. Yep, here's our images that we'll be using for our file. too exciting here. There it is. Alright, good. Looks like it's finished. 
Now we'll just go into After Effects and here it is. Now the important thing we've got to do, again another easy thing to people forget, is Preferences. All right, I'll just go up. After, After Effects Preferences. All right, and we have to go down to the import option. All right, I'll go down here and just have to make sure, change the sequence footage to 25 frames per second. All right, length of composition. All right, quite important that section there. Again, if you're working in NTSC at 30 frames per second, change it. But again, we just have to make sure for, for, for here, 25 frames per second. Okay, now we can just go into File, Import, and we only just want the one file. We don't, we don't want to do multiple files. Just hit File. And let's just go down to our desktop. Where is our desktop? Here it is. Desktop. And images. All right. So I'll select on one. Select on the very first one here. And here it is down here. JPG sequence. All right. Now you may need to force alphabetical order, it shouldn't be a problem because it's all numbered. Alright, there we go. Now let's hit open and here it is. Alright, now it's just all what you know about After Effects, let's just make the composition. Here it is. Okay, clicked and dragged it down and we should see if we go to our settings there it is, 25 frames per second. Everything's all okay. Okay, so now we can just go File, Export. Um, you can save as any one of these options. All right, uh, what can we do? Uh, let's do a QuickTime movie perhaps. All right, change your settings, compression. All right, just do a quick one. Okay, save it, desktop, autumn 03, and here's my first movie here. Alright, so that shouldn't take too long. Okay, there we go. So let's go back into Finder. If we look for uh, movie. Here it is. Okay, and you loop. All right, and there we go. All right, so that's how we do it. The important thing is making sure that your frames per second just all um, add up. Okay, there we go.